Hey yo, hey yo, put that shit down, man. What you get? This is a strip club. This is a gym. It's a gym, man. Look at you, man. It's a gym. It's a gym. All right. It's a gym. This is a gym. This is not a club. Shalom, Ami Asherala, all praises and glory goes to our power, Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the elect men that's feeding the sheep of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and in truth. We're going to get into this lesson, man, about how women are out of order. Women are out of order in this society. And um, the main people who are being judged right now at a high rate is these fucking women, man. The Lord clapping the shit out of the so-called black, Hispanic <clears throat> women, Israelite women, so-called Native American women, so-called speckled bird women. You know what I'm saying? All these the, the children of Israel, man, the Lord said judgment must begin at where? At his house. And um, and what about those that don't obey? How about Shimei Arshad? The Lord knocking them clear off the shelf. And that's why these women are coming up missing. These women are getting killed by their boyfriends. These women are being shot by their own little fucking children. <laughs> Three-year-old, five-year-old shooting them with guns they're finding in these houses. So right now, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is not with you women, man. You women, you're with, you're with Satan. You're with Satan and you're clearly the fuck out of order. <laughs> Everything you do is out of order, man. Go to first Maccabees 1 and let's start at verse 11. And it reads In those days there went out of Israel wicked men and a bunch of wicked ass fucking women, also. Not just men, it was a bunch of it's a bunch of the nation as a whole. <laughs> In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us for since we departed from them we have had much sorrow so this device pleased them well that was the spirit of our people they wanted to be with the fucking heathens man the same heathens that was coming after them to destroy them to take them out that's who they wanted to be like i'm gonna keep reading it says then certain then certain people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance of the heathen. And what did they do? It says, whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the heathen, according to the custom of the heathens. That's what they did. And what's the custom of the heathen? When you go into this gymnasium, it says, and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant, enjoyed themselves to the heathen, and were sold to do mischief. That's why Israel is so out of order, because everything they do is after the custom of the heathen. When you go into this gymnasium, this gym, we're going to read it says, place of exercise from Latin, gymnasium, school of gymnastics, from Greek, gymna gymnasium public place where athletic exercises are pr practiced gymnastic schools and plural bodily exercises from gymnasium to exercise or train literally or figuratively literally to train naked literally to train naked man that's why you see she think it was a fucking strip club he in there with his shirt off where they got that custom from the fucking heathen man you got a spirit of Jake want to be out here naked. We gotta show they stomach. Gotta show she gotta show her breasts. She gotta show her legs, her thighs. Motherfuckers out here just bare naked. They don't give a fuck why, cause they're in a heathen spirit. You, you gotta realize this is the same reincarnation of the Greco-Roman Empire. They doing the same shit. The same two third motherfuckers is back doing the same thing they was doing in the past. And it reads from Gymnos naked, from my, Metathesis of Pi, Nag, whatever that is, Sufrix from um, it says naked, man. 
That's why these people be in the gym naked. That's why the clothes be blood, blood fucking tight on your blood pressure tight on their body. So you can see their their breasts, their thighs, their their coochie, <laughs> their private parts, their asses. Even with the, um, what is that? Um, Olympics. All these sports, they got they want motherfuckers to be naked. That's the spirit of what that Greek Greco Roman spirit coming back in reincarnation. And our people are deep into these customs. But what did the Lord say? Let me read that line again and said, Whereupon they built a place of exercise according to the customs of the heathen and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. Yeah, our people were sold to do mischief. And the Lord's going to end up really killing a whole bunch of our people, man. A whole bunch of our people, because our women ain't supposed to be walking around fucking naked. I'm going to read this, 1 Timothy 2 and 9, in like manner also, right? Let's go into it. How, how is a woman supposed to operate? In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness, shamefacedness, and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Um, the women in this society ain't never read this verse. They ain't dealing with this verse. The bitches need their Gucci bag. They need them long nails. They need them long ass eyelashes. They need the fucking jacket, the fucking, all that jewelry, the ear, the peer, earrings, the rings, all that shit. Read it again. First Timothy 2 and 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Let's go into modest. Let's go into modest. Modest. 1560s, having moderate self-regard, restrained by a sense of propri propriety or humility. These bitches ain't dealing with that. From Latin modesty, moderate, keeping due measure, sober, gentle, temperate. From modest measure, manner, take appropriate measures of a woman not improper or lewd. Not improper or lewd, pure in thought and conduct of a female attire not gaudy or showy these bitches showing everything they showing everything nowadays literally these women look like fucking prostitutes they look like hookers from the 80s you remember them hookers from the 80s man you, you knew a hooker when you seen her man cause she had the same gear these hoes got on right now I'm read it says not gaudy or showy 16 tenths of demands not excessive or extreme. Yeah, these bitches are extremely out of order. They're extremely out of order. And what we waiting for you? How about she outside to get at them? To get at them. I'm a strong, independent black woman who don't need a man. Who don't need no man. Why can't I find a good man? You bitch, you ain't gonna find nothing. You're gonna find a nuclear missile in your ass. You're gonna find death at your door. You're gonna find famines you're gonna find um race wars and violence very soon gunshots stab wounds the lord about to tear you bitches clear the fuck up because you are out of order you are out of order i'm gonna read this right here this is you already know we got to go to isaiah 32nd 32 and 9 it says rise up ye women that are at ease <laughs> these women are comfortable know a woman comfortable when she can walk around the way they walk around i work nights and all you see is hoes on the street walking around i don't see too many men but i see a lot of fucking women just moving back and forth i'm like that this is this society these bitches is clearly the fuck out of order it says rise up you women that are these they don't even so much people being killed out here they ain't even dealing with that the spirit of death is in the air they ain't they don't care about that they just move around like a fucking blind zombie rise up you women that are these Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. What it say? Give ear unto my speech. Why? Because many days and years shall ye be troubled. Man, you women about to go through some troubled times. You got a man at the crib. The Lord about to kill that nigga. Because your ass out of order. You're a harlot. You eat abominable foods. You ain't never called on the Lord. You ain't looking to turn on the Lord. You trust in your fucking job. Independent woman. Independent. Bitch, you depend on that job. You depend on that fucking job. You depend on that paycheck to pay your fucking rent. Right? You depend on that fucking um, strip club that your ass be shaking your ass at. You depend on niggas. You be sucking and fucking just to pay your bills. So you, you that independent shit is bullshit. You hoes depend on nine motherfucking one one. 
right? He holds the pin on that, um, on that fucking, um, what's that so-called safety of this government, this society. But guess what? That shit about to disappear. Why? Because the Lord said what? Many days, <laughs> many days <laughs> and years shall ye be troubled. You careless women for the vintage shall fall, shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Yeah, prepare. Who the main motherfuckers at these grocery stores? With these, you see the, you see the Israelite woman. I, I seen bitches with two shopping carts of nothing but genetically modified high fructose syrup and fucking high blood pressure and heart attack food. Two, two fucking carts. And then this bitch behind another cart in a fucking um that chair that you can push a button and it push you around because you, you women done got lazy. Hey, even, even the sloppy women is fucking out of order with the nakedness. A bitch that have her whole gut out. Her whole gut out. Her whole back out. You be like, God damn, what the fuck? This balloon-shaped motherfucker. And they don't care. Because we're in a society where the women are prideful. The women don't care, man. They don't care. It says many days and years shall you be, shall you be troubled. Ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. The scriptures, what, what does the Bible say? It says, tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled. But you, you women ain't trying to hear this. It's gonna, it's gonna take, uh, we'll, man, we'll see you hoes on the other side. Let me keep reading. Tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. <laughs> Cause why? You're about to starve. You're about to starve. You're about to run out of your accessories. Your accessories. Ain't gonna be no makeup. Ain't gonna be no weave coming from China and India. Ain't gonna be no eyelashes. It's gonna be motherfucking regular grill. You're gonna be looking like <laughs> you're gonna be looking like a nigga. A lot of you bitches look like niggas underneath. Cause hair gone, the Lord done hit your ass, smite you with the curses. Hair gone. You look like a nigga underneath, man. Our, our, through the spirit of your how about shit outside, we're not supposed to be fucking gazing all on hoes, man. Niggas got that spirit that. Hey, even me too. I'm talking to myself first and foremost. I, I appreciate a beautiful, thick woman, but um, shit, we gotta be in that spirit nowadays. Hey, man, fuck that. Don't look at that shit. Keep moving. You gotta be on that warrior spirit, cause um, we're coming to a time where these bitches will get you fucking killed. I'm gonna read this, man. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, nine and eight. It says, "Turn thy, turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman, and look upon, and look not upon another's beauty." For many have been deceived. Yeah, you, you deceived by her beauty. You've been deceived by her beauty, and a nigga done turned, came around and clapped your ass. You done got robbed because you busy looking at this pussy. Because you busy focusing on this these women, but you're not focusing on your how by shimmy outshot. We tell you all hell is about to break loose in this society. You need to be seeking the Heavenly Father, but instead you're seeking a woman so you can have a relationship, so you can have children, so you can build in a society that's about to be nuked off the face of the earth. Are you fucking serious? I'm going to read it again. It says, And look not upon another's beauty, for many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. <laughs> right? Many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman, for herewith love is kindled as a fire. Matter of fact, bear with me. Let's go back. Ecclesiasticus. We're going to read 9 and 2. It says, Give not thy soul unto a woman, to set her foot upon thy substance. And you men, boy, look at how many of these dumbass NBA players, so called entertainers. I'm sorry I was rudely interrupted. I'm going to read it again. It says, Give not thy soul unto a woman to set her foot upon thy substance. Now, I think I was speaking on these entertainers. How um, a lot of them end up giving all their wealth away to a woman. To a woman who probably was cheating on them. Yeah, you don't work hard, man. These were like the one dude said, bitch, I didn't see Michael, I didn't see Michael Jordan's wife on the court shooting, shooting no basketball. Why the fuck she getting all this shit? We didn't see none of them bitches in the booth rapping, spitting no flows. Why the fuck they getting all this shit? Making beats, nothing. But these women in this society under Satan. Under Satan's authority, <laughs> that's what you got. You, you in a society that's under Satan's authority and Satan's right hand, man, is the woman. Is the motherfucking woman, man. Because she's the way to get to the Israelite men. That's how you get to these men. They through the women. 
It says, meet not with a harlot, lest thou fall into her snares. And these bitches is hoes. These bitches is hoes, man. And we ain't telling you not to deal with a woman, but you deal wisely in the times that we're in. <laughs> for every time, for, there's this, for every season, there is a purpose. This ain't the season of gathering women and having children and, <laughs> and trying to find your life. You're going to lose your life, man. It says, use not much company of a woman that is a singer, lest thou be taken with her attempts. And all these hoes think they can sing. All these bitches think they got a voice, but guess what? The Lord about to show them, you don't have a voice. You don't have a voice to speak in this society. You don't have a voice. You don't even got a singing voice. You bitches sound terrible. You All you hoes sound the same with that same ass fucking 1980s ass voice, dry ass your dry ass throats trying to sing it sounds like you got sand in your fucking necks you women are unbearable right now in this society we i don't appreciate none of you hoes none of you women because you're wicked you're wicked and you ain't looking for righteousness you, you know what you women looking for attention that's what a woman is looking for attention don't worry the lord about to give you all the attention in the motherfucking world gaze not on a maid that thou not that thou fall not by those things that are precious in her her beauty, her thickness, her riches. Yeah, man. Now you you don't became dependent of a woman. Cause you done gazed at this woman, you done fell in love, and she done suckered your dumb ass in. Now you done became a fool. Yeah, oh man, I, I ain't got time for the Lord. I gotta be with my baby girl. I got I gotta go pick up the kids. I gotta go do this. I got I got, I got family now. I got I'm, I'm a family man. I, that's what one nigga told us. I remember. When we first started coming in the truth, man, we had this other so-called, not even a brother, we had this nigga that was with us. This nigga come talking about, man, I'm a family, man. Now, uh, and and he, he ain't even talking about his own mother and father. He talking about his woman's mother and father. I gotta go, I gotta go help the, the, the mother-in-law. I gotta go help the family. All right, man, you looking like, man, this nigga crazy, man. Oh, fuck that nigga. He ain't even important, man. Gage not at a maid that I fall not by those things that are precious in her. Give not thy soul unto hoes, harlots, that thou loot that thou lose not thine. Inheritance. Yeah, man. Jake is Jake in this society. Jake. Jake been kicked in the butt by love. <laughs> You've been kicked in the butt by love. And in the nuts. And in your wallet. <laughs> and in your mind, man. Shalom.